welcome to my channel. It's a Sunday, so for me it's a car boot sale day. Um, we're gonna go to Errol again today, uh, to the car boot sale and Sunday market. So there's a few traders that I just love to go to here, so we're gonna go and see what they've got this week. See if we can buy anything to sell online. Um, so yeah, it is quarter past seven, so we've done really well this morning. And I've already been to Starbucks to get a coffee because I thought I deserved a reward for getting up so early. <laughs> so we'll see when we get there. They are really nice. This is my second trip back to the car. Whoops. I think I maybe bought a bit much. Okay, so we're back home and the same as last time, I'm just gonna go straight into the hall because I've created quite a mess in my living room. So hang on. Okay, so this is what 35 pounds exactly we'll buy you at the car boot sale well we'll buy me at the car boot sale so let me go over i had to buy one of these because i physically couldn't carry the bags look i bruised my arm carrying a heavy bag a fantastic vintage ladder covered in paint now this against like the like the green uh, like hedge outside you know, and it's got a flat shelf top, perfect for display. So uh, I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I probably am. So this is just, I wouldn't have normally put this up, but I loved the Art Deco form of it. This is Mosa. You can see. This one also probably wouldn't have normally picked this up, but it is a large size. Um... Marling. Okay. This is enamel on copper, like chalice. I think that's gorgeous. I love that. Okay. This is Capo di Monte, the. Is that the Giuseppe one? I'm not sure, but um, she's a funny looking girl. But she's putting her dollies away, which is quite cute. So, yeah, I think we could maybe get, um, maybe 30 for her. But these two lovely pieces of matching art glass, um, unpolished. But look at the lovely effect in that glass. 
So that's lovely. It's like cased. It's lovely. And then and that one as well. It's just amazing. I love the effect. This, um, I love it, but it is broken. I didn't realise it at the time. I should have realised it, but there was a load of people at the table and I saw the Somerso effect there and I just grabbed two little paperweights, like miniature paperweights. I thought they were gorgeous. They're not signed. This probably a uh, mistake buy. This is um, a Japanese. It's not worth much at all. It probably won't go online. These. So these are all... Even though there's a different stamp here, it's just signed here, and then we have two matching maker marks here. These are all the same pottery. So this is Hose Street Pottery Tunstall. They used that mark, I believe, for the export mark for the American pieces. Well, so someone said online. I don't know how true that is. And they are beautiful hand-painted plates. So I think we'll do quite good with them. Maybe 30, 40 for the, for the lot. So I love this one with the raspberries. But they're all hand-painted. So yeah, a lovely group there. This is fabulous. This is just a sugar pot, but um, this is pink glass. It's a bit bent there. I might pop that back out. Sorry, my hands are disgusting, but the market was filthy. And this is like a lucite encased rose. It's just so pretty. I just thought that was a lovely piece. Definitely from the 50s. This is like the... I um, can't remember what it's called. The type of gold that it's called, but Crown Devon. And I really like that apart from the handle has wear. So I'm not sure how that will do. Weeping Gold, is that what that one's called? Weeping Gold. Two little miniature character jugs. Um, I found her more interesting than him, but everything was going so cheap, so I just grabbed the two. I thought they could go on for a set. Now, these two, well, these three, are all the Delft. Um, and I believe this one is the older one. You can see from the mark. And it's slightly smaller. This one is the next um, in age. And then I believe this is then the most modern. Mommy, so cozy. You want cozy? Okay. Eli wants cozy juice. <laughs> so, and then next we have, it's a woodlander, the stoneware woodlander, and this is the cottage. I haven't seen a single one online, I've only seen the rabbit, so I've not got a clue how that will do. This is a West Germany vase, but it is, you know, a pretty awesome piece. So at least 20 to 30. A couple of really old books. We have Cruden's a Concordance and Chambers Journal, 1882. I don't know, maybe 15 each. They don't seem... See, this is the thing with books. I'm still very much learning, and it all depends on the edition and things like that, and it's hard to actually see what edition it is. So I'm learning. I've not seen any with the exact binding and covers and first page online. So, again, you just don't know what edition I have. So auctions they go up to. This is a lighter. How cool is that? It's vintage, it's, um, I wonder if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to see it, LSM Foreign, and it's got registered number, so maybe 20 for that, and then this, like, it'll be West Germany, like a lava glaze, vase, a uh, vase, lampy, sorry, so it's fantastic. It's filthy, but it's fantastic. So, let me know what you think. Let me know. Oh, no, I forgot. I've not showed you these. 
like salt glazed bottles. Um, and uh, there was a few, but I only picked up these two because these were the two that had a maker's name on it. Because I've sat on a salt glazed piece for months and it took so long to sell. And oh, when it did sell, it sold for like maybe 30 and for the size of this thing, like it was huge. I was like, oh, this wasn't worth it. So I bought two small ones and the one I had wasn't marked. And these two are Hollis, is that an H? Hollis and Son. K Old Street, London, and then this one was signed up there. A Aris Arisola. I have no no clue, but there. So this is probably. I mean, I could probably sell it for twelve. I just. I may as well keep it for that, and then I might keep that one for that. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll sell these and not feel too guilty about it. And I might keep that plate at the back. Because I like the luster, I like how big it is, and I'd maybe only get like 15, 18. And if I like it, it's cheap enough. So yeah, it might just be that goes on at auction by itself i don't know whether to put that with the others because i don't know if they will detract from the value of that but i'll need to do more research on the mark but i believe that's the older piece so and then my ladders and then my my lady trolley i'm gonna be one of them so Mommy. Hope you enjoy the video and I will be uploading again Mommy. soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye Sorry, I'm just popping in here to say this I got this as well. It's like a wooden carved boxer toad Because why not? Mm -hmm.